In May 1985, Dr. Gordon Klatt, a colorectal surgeon from Tacoma, Washington, decided he wanted to raise money for the American Cancer Society in honour of his patients. For 24 hours, Klatt walked around the track at Baker Stadium at the University of Puget Sound in Tacoma, Washington. Throughout the night, friends paid $25 to run or walk 30 minutes with him. He walked approximately 83 miles and raised $27,000 to fight cancer. Nearly 300 of Klatt's friends, family and patients watched as he ran and walked the course. After this successful event, Klatt thought about how other people could partake in a similar 24-hour event in communities across the country. He recruited a small team of people and put on the first Relay for Life event in 1986. Since then, Relay has developed into an overnight event which takes place around the globe, raising funds in support of the fight against cancer. It gives communities a chance to celebrate the lives of people who have battled cancer, remember lost loved ones and fight back against the disease. My father passed away from cancer in advanced prostate cancer in 2010 and it was about a year and a few months after he passed away that the first relay took place and I just thought we contribute a lot to various different charities and I thought for once I'd like to give it towards research and to see if we can try and find some form of cure for these cancers. At the heart of each Relay for Life event teams of friends, neighbours, families and colleagues come together in groups and commit to keeping participants walking around a track or path for 24 hours. It's about people, it's about humanity and it's about the connectivity between all of us as human beings and the fact that we as human beings share this planet, the sense of co-responsibility that we have one for another. Cancer can leave a lot of pain and heartache in its wake but it can also inspire people to come together and do some wonderful things. Relay for Life events are organised entirely by communities so that those lost to cancer will never be forgotten. Those who face cancer will be supported in the hope that one day cancer will be eliminated. The illness of cancer is, is so, so prevalent that there is scarcely a person, an adult person, whose life has not been touched either directly or indirectly, by this illness. Relay for Life Tipperary 2012 took place in Tumivara GA Club from 5pm 25th of August to 5pm 26th of August. 49 teams took part in the event, which was officially started by former Munster Leinster and Ireland rugby player Trevor Hogan. There isn't a family in the country, let alone Tipperary, that hasn't been affected by cancer. And it's made them realise that there's a lot of people out there that can raise money, be effective in getting money to help fight this, this terrible disease. The funds that are raised do make a huge difference because it, it's there where the part of the fight back is. And, the, and, and that's great because we, Irish Cancer Society, we deliver vital services for people who are undergoing cancer treatment and we also deliver cancer research. Relay for Life Tipperary started with a survivor's lap, an inspirational time when survivors were invited to walk the track together and help everyone celebrate the victories they've achieved over cancer. The second lap was a carer's lap, when the people who cared for the survivors walked the track together and were honoured for how they cared for their loved one when they had cancer. I came on to Relay for Life last year. I didn't know what it was about. I knew it was something to do with the Irish Cancer Society raising funds. Um, I was stunned when there was a, a call for, the, for, 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 for a, a lap by survivors. I didn't even have the t-shirt. I got in and people were just staring, goggled the eyes at me. And I got the t-shirt after. Um, but for me, and I know it's important to raise money and all that, 
but for me I think the fact that it raises it puts survivors out there in front of people and people can see that just the only time people talk about cancer is when they're being buried and and for people to see that others do survive it. The Candle of Hope ceremony took place as light fell to dusk on Saturday evening at 10 p.m. It was a chance for everyone to remember those who have been lost to cancer and to celebrate the lives of those who have survived the disease. Luminaria bags are often decorated by participants, honouring a loved one who has passed or is fighting the disease. Over 3,000 luminaria bags lined the track in Tumivara during this year's Candle of Hope ceremony. Each Relay for Life in Ireland raises vital funds to support the work of the Irish Cancer Society. We are making a difference. People are being diagnosed earlier. More people are living with cancer, which is fantastic. And all of this is happening because of community events like Relay. Communities coming together, like this here in Tumivar and in Nina and around the surrounding area around here. They make a huge difference. They deliver information that help people to understand how they can fight back, how they can celebrate the survivors, which is fantastic, and that we can remember people. And as I say, it's through that remembering that makes us more determined to to continue on the work we're doing, more determined to make sure that we can have more survivors, and that's what we're all about through the research, and then make sure that those people who unfortunately do contract cancer, we can have world-class cancer care. That's what we want in Ireland, that's what we're aiming to deliver through the Irish Cancer Society. And, it's, and I just wanted to say a massive thanks to everybody for everything they're doing makes a huge difference, and we're privileged to be able to, through them, help so many thousands of people and deliver this vital research. Did you know that more women in Ireland are dying from lung cancer than breast cancer? Almost one in three women in Ireland now smoke. Smoking is the main cause of preventable death and disease in Ireland. Giving up smoking could be the one change you make after your visit to Relay this year. Think about it. Be sun smart. Use sunscreen and follow the sun smart code. Cancer will affect one in three people during the course of their lifetime. However, more people are surviving cancer due to early detection and advances in treatment. You know, Mary was an unusual strong woman because I have a habit of going to the swimming pool in the mornings and when I come back every morning for the 19 months she was sick, she'd have her breakfast around 10 o'clock. So I go to the pool around seven, I go into the local restaurant and have a cup of coffee. So I get all the news of the day and bring it back to her. And then I bring her breakfast into the bed. And I'd sit at the foot of the bed and have my own breakfast with her. And one morning, I never broke down in front of her, but one morning I did. And she said, what's wrong with you? And I said, Mary, I'm very upset over what's happening to you. And she said, why? Because I said, I'm upset with God because she'd done so much for other people, I couldn't believe this happened to her. And she says to me, did it ever dawn you that God wants me? And I said, Mary, did it ever dawn on him that I want you? You know, and the honest words I said, I'd like to go with you. And she said, you can't do that. You have to look after the family and the grandchildren. And she said, I'll be right behind you and I'll be looking after them. And she says, you know, she was so unselfish. She said, but I'd say very few women could say it. She said, maybe you'll be lucky and meet a nice woman to keep you company. And I think that very few people can come with that courage on their deathbed. So that's the kind of thing that's keeping us going today, is the great willpower she left with us.